Well, we're back to square one. It's Parliament versus the people. Why? Parliamentary authorities have now introduced mandatory face masks for everyone in Parliament, apart from MPs. Well, hello everyone, welcome to today's first video. You must have heard by now. Essentially, parliamentary authorities have said that everyone who works in Parliament needs to wear a face mask at all times, except for members of Parliament. Clearly, that means that this virus is so intelligent that they say, and also has respect for MPs, elected politicians, that they said, well, we're not gonna infect you guys, but your staffers and all the other ordinary workers who work in the Palace of Westminster, you're all in danger. And that's a slightly ridiculous, isn't it? Right, so I'm currently in central London, before we continue. I'm gonna go get my hair cut because you guys have been complaining about this mess. Uh, but also, again, we need to get this. There are still some people, you know, a few people left wearing face masks. When it comes to the parliamentary state, it's not really about the indoor or outdoors because the government already said that we have the freedom date, the measures are gone. Now we have Sajid Javid, health secretary, who from today said that he's going to be wearing it. What is it? Virtue signaling. So what happened was Rishi Sunak uh, did this uh, budget announcement and uh, Labour frontbenchers and also backbenchers were in face covering as usual, virtue signaling. Then you had the majority of the frontbench Tories also wearing it because of Sajid Javid, health secretary, except for J.K. Rees-Mark. So well done J.K. for standing up against virtue signaling. Well, here we go. Finally, it's done. So I can finally breathe. It's been a few weeks now. Um, what I was going to say at the end was this. This channel got much bigger thanks to your support during the first lockdown because with all the doom and gloom and all the negative stories, we tried to keep everyone more positive and slightly hopeful about the future. And I think together we did an okay job. The way things are going, not to be pessimistic, but with coverings coming up, with all the health passport debate and everything else, not that we are definitely going to have this plan B lockdown winter sort of situation, but if we are going towards that direction. That means that I'm back and together, we're gonna to do what we normally do, hold into account, stay together and stay positive. Oh yeah, and before we go, I just wanna get the mood of you guys as subscribers and supporters. Um, let me know in the comment section if you think that plan B, the winter lockdown, is definitely gonna happen or not, or you just don't know. Just, you know, put your comments, I'm gonna read most of them, kind of find out the mood. And then the next video, I'm gonna see if we can have some sort of consensus. And until then, I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.